All right, quick video today. Today I'm gonna show you how to get your Lightroom presets off your computer and onto your phone. There's two separate ways, so let's get right into it. Will Simpson here and welcome to Exploring Photography. Today's video is kind of an extension of Monday's video where I showed you how to do an in-depth edit to get that dark and moody Instagram deliciousness edit on your phone uh, and then gave away a bunch of presets. So if you want those, go ahead and uh, check that video out. But this video, I'm gonna show you how to get those amazing Lightroom presets that you have on your computer and put them on your phone. So let's get right into Lightroom and get started. So here's our photo, and we're just gonna keep this super quick and easy. We're not gonna edit it. We're just gonna slap on a preset and keep going. So the first step you're gonna do is come over here and slap on a preset. Boom, done. Just for the sake of looks, I'm gonna raise the exposure of this image just a little because now it just looks better. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click on the image. You're gonna go down to export. You're going to export. And then this is where the sauce happens. And really fast before i show you this uh amazing amazing step on how to do this i want you to earn it hit that like button real quick and then i'll show you so hit it in three two one boom video like thank you very much i greatly appreciate it, it actually makes a huge difference for the video anyways let's go ahead and get to the next one because obviously you knew i was going to show you anyways so if you didn't like the video well that's just this is rude no need to be rude. I have feelings too. <laughs> All right, let's get back to it. Okay, so the next thing is you're gonna scroll down to file settings. You're going to click on JPEG if it doesn't or whatever the image format is, and you're gonna click DNG. What this is gonna do, you can leave all the other settings the same. What this is gonna do is it's gonna save all of the information that was on the image, including the edits. So once that is saved, everything else is fine. I'm just gonna save this onto the desktop because it makes it really easy. Press export. Uh, <laughs> go figure, it always says. So I'm just gonna say uh, overwrite because I've already done this so I know exactly what I'm doing. Uh, and then you're going to take that file and you're going to get it on your phone. Now, because I have an iPhone, I just simply airdrop it. You Android users, I don't know how you do it. Throw it in Dropbox, throw it in Google Drive, and then download it or email it to yourself. What a pain in the ass. I, as a photographer, I don't think I could live. I just don't think I could live without AirDrop. It is such, oh God, it makes life so easy. All right, now we got the image on our phone. We AirDropped it to our phone. Took two seconds, it was beautiful. So you'll notice in the top left corner, it says raw but it has the edits on it. So let's go to Lightroom. Let's go to the bottom left corner or bottom right corner where you see the image plus from camera roll. And you'll notice that the image now says DNG on it. So we're gonna click that one. That is our raw photo. So now we have our photo on our phone. The next step is if you look, you'll see light, uh, color, effects, detail. All of these have little arrows underneath them, which means they have edits on them. So there's our edit from our Lightroom computer. What we're gonna do to save this information is we're gonna go up here to the top right where the three dots are, click that, then we're gonna press create preset. Gonna name it something special like dark and deliciousness two, because you know, we created dark and deliciousness one in uh, Monday's video. And then we're gonna save it in our user presets. If you wanna create a new group, you just click that, click create new preset group. I have moody goodness. So I'm gonna save it there and then name it, press the check mark, and there you go. Your preset is officially on your phone. Now, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I do videos like this every Monday at 7 p.m. I've been doing bonus videos on Thursday to kind of catch up because I've been gone a lot and hit the notifications bell. It makes a huge difference, helps YouTube know that you enjoyed this video and I greatly appreciate it. It makes a big difference to me. Now, the final way to get presets on your phone, which is super easy, I'm not even gonna show you the tutorial on how to do it because it is very easy. This whole thing was done for Lightroom Classic. This is how you get your presets from your computer, Lightroom Classic, onto your phone, Lightroom CC. If you have an Adobe account, all you have to do, open Lightroom CC, create your preset, and then it automatically syncs to Lightroom Mobile once you've signed in. That's all there is to it. It's very, very simple. I actually have a video on how to do this. I'll link it at the end of this video and in the description, but that's it. That's how you get your saucy Lightroom presets on your phone. And if you guys want 
some awesome, awesome presets. I will put a link in the description that will send you immediately three free presets. They will include three of my favorite presets, the Apocalyptic preset, the Kodiak and the Sierra preset, all extremely awesome ones that will really affect your images quite well. Just click the link in the description, fill out the form, and they'll be emailed directly to you. All right, guys, that's it for this video. It's a quick one. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys on Monday. <laughs>